Hello everyone, this is Swang Sang V from vlamon.com and I'm back with another IBM Cognos Analytics tutorial video. And in this video, we will learn how to use data player with IBM Cognos Analytics dashboard. This is a demo dashboard which we are going to create in this video. And in this demo dashboard, we have a data player and we have a list and a map. So content for this list and map is changing based on this data player filter so in this we have four region west east central and south and all this region or all these filters are changing with time okay so this is the functionality for data player data player will change the filter with time so change in filter is very fast so if you are not able to analyze the data you can click on this pause button to pause the change in filter okay you can also uh, click on any of this uh, reason to manually select the appropriate reason if you want to check the data for any particular reason so let's say i want to check the data for central so i'm going to click on central and now my data is refreshed based on this central reason okay so let's see how to create this report for this we are going to refer this blog post blog post url is available in the description of this video or you can click on this notification icon for our uh, demo dashboard we need to download this sample uh, data file click on this download url to download this sample data file in this sample data file we have we have cells for uh, different state different city and different country and we are we want to create a report for sales by region so let's first download this and upload it for me i already have my files uploaded on ibm cognos analytics i only need to create a new dashboard for creating a new dashboard i'm going to click on this new button and then we are going to select dashboard based on your requirement feel free to select the appropriate uh, template for me let's go with this one tablet layout or let's go with uh, blank okay so i'm fine with this let me click on okay next we need to select our data source or select source for this i'm going to click on this plus icon and then i'm going to select my file sales by reason it is available in my content folder and it is available just here sales by reason and finally i'm going to click on add our source is selected successfully our file is selected now we need to create our visualization for the first visual uh, visualization i'm going to select this table so let me select this uh, table and in this table i'm going to add two column the first one is state and the second column is the cell so let's go and uh, let's select let's select state city And finally, I want to select cells. And let's quickly arrange the state and city. Okay, so I'm fine with this. Now, what is the next step? Uh, next step, I want to minimize this. And now, I want to add a map. So, let me go. And I think this height is fine for this demo. Next, we need to add a map for this. Again, I'm going to click on this visualization and I'm going to select a map. Let me select a map. And in map, we are going to select state and cell. So let's select uh, state and cell. Cell inside location color. And finally, minimize this. okay so our list is ready our uh, map is ready next we need to add our data player and before adding data player let me quickly change the size for this map okay i'm fine with this size let's add data player for this again i'm going to click on visualization tab and then finally we are going to select data player okay now we need to uh, provide the column for which we need to apply filter. I want to filter my data based on a reason. So that's why I'm to select reason. I'm not able to select country because most really for country, I only have a single country data. So that's why I'm selecting reason. Okay. 
सो दिस इज द रीजन सेंट्रल ईस्ट साउथ एंड वेस्ट नाउ द नेक्स्ट स्टेप आई वॉन्ट टू ऑर्गेनाइज और आई वॉन्ट टू अरेंज द आइटम इन दिस डेटा प्लेयर आई वॉन्ट टू मूव माई फिल्टर फ्रॉम हायर टू लोअर to arrange all this element i am going to click on this if you are looking for complete tutorial series you can check this url if you want to hire me for personal or group training you can drop me a mail or you can contact me on this mobile number apart from this if you want to prepare for your interviews you can hire me i am going to conduct a private session with you and i am going to ask introductory questions and then finally i am going to share my views with you the improvement ideas and other key points to help to create your next interview and our reason is now arranged based on the sales column okay so let's minimize this and our data player is now ready and finally i want to change the width for data player okay so i think this is good let me change the height okay and let me quickly fix the width also okay so our data player is ready and uh, finally let's uh, resize this map and this one table also okay finally it's time to test our report or oh, finally it's time to test our dashboard for this i am going to click on this one to enable the full screen and this is our dashboard final look okay so on the left we have our table and on the right we have our map and if you want to auto change the data player filter you need to click on this play button and now with time our filter is changing with time our data is refreshing inside table and map now so we have one limitation with data player we have one limitation with data player data player changes filters very fast okay and if you are using slow query with your table and map then maybe you are not able to see the correct data or what i mean so let's say right now west is selected okay and still my query is under processing then maybe i am able to see the data from previous filter okay so for example our filter is changed from west to east okay and this change is within a second and my query returns output in 5 second then definitely we are not able to use data player now how to change the time for data player right now i don't have the solution for this or ibm did not provide the solution for this but definitely once we have the solution for this i am going to share it with you so let me quickly share the properties for data player so i am going to scroll down i am going to select data player and then i am going to select properties and uh, we don't have anything to change the filter change time okay we have a refresh time but this is not the filter change time okay so let's say if i am going to enable this one and if i am going to change it to 16 minute and again if i am going to click on this play button my filter is changing within second it is not changing in 60 minutes okay it is the refresh time for your data player this refresh automatically is the refresh time for your data player it is not the change time for filters so this is one limitation with data player and if once we have the solution for this i am going to share the solution with you these are the steps to use data player in ibm cognos analytics dashboard i hope you enjoy this video if you like this video don't forget to click on like subscribe share it with everyone provide your feedback and see you all in next ibm cognos analytics tutorial video some important viewers